Today I have a ultimate base knob, the WLC Plus. The Amp Lab sent me their prototype that I get to work with. Really excited to see how this thing does today on my system. Show you everything about it and pretty much show you all the features. It is a wireless base knob. I've never really seen these until now. And if you want to know more about it, check out the links in the description after watching this video all the way through. I hope I answer all your questions. They have a RGB lighting system, seven solid different color options and three different effect options on the plus version, which is actually what I get to work with today. So I really like that they have a magnetic mount. So you're able to mount this anywhere. And then the magnet, look at that, just catches onto the base of the RCA system. So the wireless base knob here has seven different LED settings that I was mentioning, the solid colors you get to choose from. I really like the actual look of the knob too. So this is an aluminum base knob. Their standard wheel they're going to be coming with is clear knurled plastic wheel, but mine is a black aluminum wheel. It doesn't come standard, but it will be an option that they're going to add. If you want to pause it ever, this is all of the features, some of the key things I see that I like to mention. It has a safe mode. It has adjustable knob sensitivity levels. I'll be able to show that later in the video. It has a built-in mute full function. You're able to play up to 18 hours without the LED or down to around 10 to 11 hours with the LED. Able to run up to 25 feet wirelessly with a USB-C charging system. System, wide range frequency response of 10 hertz up to 50k hertz, battery protection mode, safe mode, multiple LED functions and illumination, and the brightness adjustment. So you're able to change how level of brightness you want it to be. And you could turn the light on or off. So that's pretty cool. So now we're going to dive into getting this installed. Okay, so I went ahead and got everything hooked up. I installed the uh, input and the output on the main box. RCA is coming from my head unit. These are two and a half volts. And then the output going to my back amplifier, since everybody watching my channel knows I have two amplifiers strapped. And then I have the ground, remote, and then the power going directly to my battery. And I'll get do the first turn on and show y'all how it looks. Really nice base knob Bluetooth device. I'm looking forward to seeing how it sounds. Kind of show y'all what it, the feel is on my system as well. And uh, kind of run through the actual steps. So since this is a brand new product, this is a first for me as well, but I'm really glad to be able to share it with y'all on YouTube. So go ahead and give it a like once again if you haven't already. I appreciate y'all watching and subscribing. All right, so now I've got my turn on wire here. I'm going to go ahead and set up. Looks like it needs to be paired to the actual knob from the base, and I'll do that now. So what I'm doing is instead of hooking it up to a blue turn on, I'm actually going to hook it up to my battery. Instead, it'll turn on from the battery, work the exact same, and then I can just turn on my stereo head unit with my amplifier. So here we go. There we go. All right, so it turns on through the actual battery. So it's pulsing. It says, make sure power switch is on, the remote is off. Power on the base, observe the LED. LED base should be pulsing once every second, which it is. Within one minute of powering the base on, press and hold the volume knob button on the wireless remote so it just started and it was pairing so now it's paired look at that 13 13.4 so it was paired there we go very nice worked out really well so i got it to where this was actually saying starting took about eight seconds to say starting that it paired with the base and now it's reading the voltage of my battery which i'm running a lipo lithium it's been sitting for three days and it's at 13.4 Sorry if you can't see that very well. If the LEDs on the base of the Bluetooth symbol on the remote display are not both solid, repeat this pairing procedure until two units are successfully paired. It may take a few attempts. So everything worked out great for the base knob to the base pairing. So now I want to go through the settings and kind of look at the different things that I can work with, like the brightness for sure. I like to have it all the way up for this test. Uh, the LED effects. I can look through and kind of pick out which colors I like. Solid green, solid red, blue, yeah, purple. I know they have seven different colors. Orange, pink, white. And then if you want to fade it, so I'll update it to where it fades in between the uh, actual different colors. I kind of like that scheme. And then there's some other LED effects I was showing you in the dark. And then if I want to actually adjust to where if I want to turn the light on or off, that just depends on if I switch it. So if I switch it, let me make sure, sorry. So I had the switch in the middle, which turned the LEDs off. And then when I turn the switch to the left, it turns these LEDs on. 
I don't know if I'm able to turn these LEDs off with this switch. So it doesn't look like there's any switch to turn these off, but I know I can turn these LEDs off. But this isn't gonna be drained by any kind of battery like this, since this is driven off of an actual battery. As I mentioned earlier, you have an 18 hour lifespan without the illumination and an 11 with. So using this, depending on, of course, how you set your brightness too, but since this is wireless, you kind of kind of consider if you want to worry about your battery or not. But all the other features like having the safe mode and uh, protection that they have so you don't have to worry about anything. If it does die, it isn't going to damage your equipment and it can power off, etc. So I'm pretty fascinated to see the technology of this wireless base knob. I know it's taken a lot of time to get to it because without that wire, there's so much advancement that it takes to get this thing to work and function wirelessly so i don't know much about it but it's very fascinating to see but anyway let's look at the other setting on here so led effects that i went through and the brightness i can adjust so safe mode i was mentioning earlier i want to have safe mode on and i talked about that earlier for what it was so updated the base so now the base is set up for safe mode and sensitivity so i like to have very high sensitivity so I went ahead and set my sensitivity at high. That's for my actual output of my base. And then that is it. So let's go ahead and exit. There we go. And you can see it picks up the S for safe mode, just like you saw earlier in the modular or the this uh, manual. You can see all the different features it shows you. Really cool. And I've got almost a full charge right now. And I'm at 13.4 because the vehicle is off and I'm on lithium. And then when I turn the base knob up and down, you can see the high, oh, there we go. The high sensitivity turns the knob up faster than the lower sensitivity. So I want to go back to look at that again. So if you hold the knob in, I go back into sensitivity. Let's go ahead and try out low. And then I'll exit. It's a little bit slower paced, so you have to turn it a lot more. So I definitely like having that sensitivity on higher. And of course, you can play with it when you get yours if you decide to get one of these. But having it on high is best for me. And I'll go ahead and exit. Everything's saved. Perfect. I like it. So now let me go ahead and test it out to see how this thing does on my system. I figured I'd show you all that. These were the other base knobs I used. Just a basic, cheap LC1 gets the job done, but it doesn't give you anything, any benefit, and did have some cutting out issues with this. And then, of course, this one worked for a few years with a lot of abuse, but it didn't give me any extra features. Couldn't read my voltage, no LEDs, wasn't wireless, didn't have safe mode. Uh, there's a lot of things that this, this thing right here offers with the technology that they've worked on for a few years to get this where it is. So I'm really proud to be able to use this and show you all on YouTube. So... Be sure to give the Amp Lab a like, and let's go ahead and see how this thing does, give you a quick review with my system. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my vehicle on real quick. And we'll do a quick little test. Look at that voltage it picked up immediately. Good. And uh, once I mentioned already before, but it has this magnetic mount that you can screw down anywhere. And then this just goes right to it. So it mounts anywhere and you don't have to worry about taking the case off. So very user friendly. All right, so we'll play a couple songs, just kind of learn the knob. enjoy that quick little demo pretty much everything i could ever ask for and then some in this wireless base knob from the amp lab you did a really good job i don't see anything negative to say about it 
I really like everything. The LED style, changing it between seven different colors, having that safe mode, don't have to, not have to worry about any amplifier issues, having a magnetic mount for ease of use, really cool. And then of course, having a 25 foot range with the wireless adapter, so I'm able to actually not have to worry about wires anymore. So that's one of the biggest perks and uh, so many other things I mentioned earlier. So thank y'all for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, give it a like and definitely give some feedback, comment, let them know what you think about this base knob. Say some constructive criticism if there's anything you think that could be improved on it. I don't really have anything negative to say. And check out the links in the description, and I'll see you on the next one. Shout out to Amp Lab. Good job.